so, so you gotta give that bathtub gin <laughs> that you must be drinking before the show. I'm so sorry. I, 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 know, just, you, just you know, share and share alike. You know, that, you that, know that, that, that's law of attraction worthy. This week, we had such a really great week, but I'm telling you, I'm so exhausted. And whenever Beth gets completely and totally exhausted, she turns into a giggling mess. I am, I So know. I can always tell when you're overworked. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Lee McCain. And I am Beth McCain. And we're here doing the Beth and Lee McCain <laughs> radio show on YouTube, and oh. it's all about... What is it? The law of attraction. Which uh, is one of the best things you can ever put in your life. Because true. then you can be like Beth and just and go around will. giggling. Well, I was also thinking about the story. My mom um, took care of our little girl, our eight-year-old, when we were gone. And she, um, my mom was giving me the great stories about her. Since it's fall now, it's raining all the time. So our eight-year-old daughter... <laughs> went outside with a couple of buckets not telling my mom and she came in <laughs> with buckets full of orange bellied lizards now if you know my mom <laughs> i would have given any i would have i'd have flown home for the day just yeah. to see that oh my god and then gone back she, to the book reading she freaked out she freaked out they were crawling all over well, each other and, all and, legs and, and the, na the neighbor heard her screams and thought <laughs> That it was, you know, something untoward going on at the old <laughs> McCain spread. So, oh, anyway, that's just know, one of many. Yeah, we miss all the fun, don't we? Uh, well, no, really, we really, we don't. We yeah. had a great time out there. And to everybody, sure who, to everybody who came to the book readings, thanks so much for coming out. And also, I promised uh, Tony, remember her, came up after yep, one of the I readings? Yes, sure do. Said, say hi to me on your next show. So here we are. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Well, what do you got for me there? Miss? All right. Well, I'm going to give you your question first. Okay. Then, then, right. I, then, I'll, then I'll tell you what. Then I'll give you yours after. Okay, you. All right. All right. Let's hear it. This is from Jasper in Pennsylvania. Hello, Jasper. Hi, Jasper. I keep waiting and waiting for my finances to get better, and they haven't. I envision money coming to me from my relatives. They all have money, but I don't. What is going on? Well, okay, there's a couple ways of looking at this. First of all, it sounds like you're only considering the one source, mm -hmm. which is, I guess, you know, wait for the relatives to uh, <laughs> one by one fall away and then, you know, inherit or whatever. Um, here's the thing. What you're doing is you're micromanaging, which is the number one thing you do not ever want to do in the law of attraction. We say it time and time again. You You just simply cannot follow one course and assume that that is going to be the only course. What else are you doing to attract financial abundance? If all you're doing, uh, Jasper, is sitting around waiting for relatives to pass on, um, then what you've done is you've told the universe that's how you intend to get your money. And you're limiting your options. So you limit your options and you will be waiting a long time or until, you know, Aunt Bertha passes on and thinks to leave you, you know, her her uh, riches. And I, I would think that as a practitioner or someone of interest in the law of attraction, you're going to want to find the best way to utilize the law of attraction. And the best way is to, out the gate, not limit it. That's right. That's right. So that would be my advice. Um, think of other avenues. Don't just expect and assume that, that the relatives are going to be the only one. Because once you've done that, the universe will comply, as it always does. And you're just going to have that one avenue. You're going to want many, many more avenues. Just see, see your money coming to you. And senior citizens are living longer these days. So, <laughs> so it'll be a while till you get your, uh, your inheritance there, Jasper. So I hope that helps. Uh, not having a little fun on your, ex uh, your expense. Just, just want to... Uh, point Lighten you, the mood. Yeah, just, <laughs> then just point you in the direction of uh, if you want to use the law of attraction, well, let, <laughs> let's just use it. That's right. And don't limit it. Okay. Um, how about I uh, do one for okay. you there, Ms. McCain? <clears throat> this one, um, this one's kind of serious. Uh, not that they all aren't important, but, mm -hmm. but this one more so uh, because it, it deals with um, health issues, specifically terminal health issues. Um, this one comes from Darlene in California, okay. and this is what Darlene writes. Dear Beth and Lee, my dad was sick with cancer. I envisioned him well, and he passed away anyway. 
Did the universe not feel what I wanted, or what? That is a very good question, and our our thoughts are with you, darling. Yeah, that, that's tough losing your dad. It is, and you know... And we can understand that, that you would do everything in your power, in, including calling on the, the universe and the law of attraction, to try to stave that off, but Beth? Okay, well, without sounding like we don't care about what happens, because we really do care about what happens with every human being. You have to realize that you are not the only person when it comes to another person's health or terminal illness or life. He himself is, em is emitting out vibrations, his own vibrations. And, you know, I don't know enough of the details to know what he was emitting out. But there's a possibility that he himself was ready to go or his own thinking and feeling was heading down a path where he felt he could not come back and it was time for him to pass on. Doesn't mean that your thoughts and your healing thoughts can't help him. They can. They can ease his pain. Yeah, and, and they the, can help the his comforting thoughts. And they can mm -hmm. help his mental health as well when mm -hmm. he's going through that time period but it's not all up to you it's up to him in that particular well and i'm and i'm circumstance and i bet you know uh, darlene your mom probably had her own feelings about it or or if you have other siblings or whatever so you know what does the universe listen to and ultimately what the universe listens to is what affects his person, world his, his world, world. And You're a part so, of this world and probably a very big part of it. It doesn't mean that you can affect some of the, the feelings in his own self, you know, as far as encouragement and those kind of things, and I'm sure you did all those things. But ultimately, it comes up to his world. And sometimes, obviously, that's what happens. Yeah. So I hope that helps to understand a little and, more. And maybe it will at least help you understand that you weren't being neglected. Not at all. By the universe. Not at all. Um, it heard you, but again, it, it was not your world that was being uh, called upon. It was his. And so I hope that you'll understand that the law of attraction operated exactly as it should have in that, in that situation. For himself. Just for your dad. Yeah. And again, our, our thoughts and condolences are with you. So thank you for writing, Darlene. And... Um, I uh, hope you keep listening and hope you keep seeking the law of attraction because it's the best thing you could ever have in your life. That's right. It is. It is. Well, I guess it, that is just about did, did it, it go, isn't it? Did it go by that fast? It sure did. I missed everyone last week. I missed doing the show last week. Yep. I really did. Yeah, and you know, we we like to keep the shows current, so we don't pre-tape a bunch of shows in advance. We could easily do that, couldn't we? We sure could. We could easily sit down uh, uh, in a two-day period and do two months of shows. That's right. But we like the immediacy of the interaction with the emails that you send us, and um, we love answering them, and, and we want to be as, as current as you are uh, in, in, in the Law of Attraction. So... That's how come we did not put a show out last week. That's right. That's but right. we hope you enjoyed the the encore performance, the, the little best of show that that uh, got put up. Mm -hmm. um, th those shows were definitely ones that you had said that you really, really liked. And uh, we're back, and we'll be back now through the end of the holidays. So. We sure will. Okay. And beyond. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> I'll, I'll, looking forward to next year. We have a big schedule next year, don't we? We sure do. Yeah. And please, please, please go to the website and, you oh, know, and we by have the way, new stuff all the time. And two seconds on this. You guys, you are making the magazine, the indicator, you're making it a hit. It's not even out yet. Yeah, we're really excited My about goodness, that. My goodness, we cannot believe the amount of subscribers we have. I'm yet. actually more excited about the magazine, I think, than, Probably I than anything. the book. Yeah, and I'm excited about the yeah, book. Yeah, I am too. But my goodness, you guys have just taken over on this magazine. So, <laughs> so thank you so, so much. So thank you so much, and um, we'll be back next week. We sure will. And please email us, and uh, we will, uh, as we always do, answer your emails. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.